Hello! This morning I am going to be demonstrating paste bottle feeding for you. So this is something that I refer to a lot and those of us kind of in the breastfeeding world recommend paste bottle feeding whenever you're needing to give a bottle to a baby who is either primarily breastfed at the breast or you're hoping to get your baby to that point back to the breast. And it's not wrong to do this kind of feeding if your baby is not feeding at the breast at all, but it's specifically recommended to help babies be more interested in being at the breast if they also need bottles. So the reason for this is because it is paste. So just like the name suggests, paste bottle feeding, this is a way of giving a bottle that allows a baby to paste themselves. And we wanna do this for two reasons. One is it helps to make sure that a baby doesn't get overfed. They can kind of say no to the bottle a little bit more easily. But it also makes babies kind of work a little bit harder at the breast as well, which helps them to have the inclination to work harder at the breast as well. Did I say work well? I don't know if I said breast initially, but work harder at the bottle in, so that they will work harder at the breast. And that doesn't mean that breastfeeding is hard per se, but it's different and babies do have to do some work to draw the milk out. They need to create suction, they need to move their tongues in a certain way, and they need to suck. And with a bottle, sometimes babies really don't have to suck, at least not too strongly, and they don't need to hold on to the nipple of a bottle in the same way that they need to hold on to a nipple of a breast in order to keep it where it needs to be and to use it correctly. So for instance, most of of us are used to kind of giving a bottle like this. So baby laying back at a bit of an angle and then having the bottle kind of positioned upwards like this. And when you do that, milk actually can trickle into a baby's mouth pretty easily. See, it's coming out. This is not even a real baby. So there's definitely no suction happening. And the milk is already starting to drip out when I have this in this position. So we want a baby to learn that they're not gonna get the milk unless they do the sucking so that they learn and build up some muscle memory for having to do that when they're at their breast as well. So the first thing you wanna do is not hold the baby laying back, but really almost sitting up, okay? And you can support a baby behind the neck like this, which is similar to actually how you would be supporting them if they were nursing as well. So what you first do is you want to trigger that baby's desire to suck on the bottle or suck on the nipple. So we don't just go straight to the mouth and put the bottle in the mouth, just like at the breast. So you can tickle the top of the baby's upper lip, the nose, and usually that will then trigger a baby who's hungry and wants the bottle to open their mouth nice and wide. And when they open the mouth wide, that's when you put the bottle in their mouth. Then they will suck and they will have whatever pattern they have when they suck. And while they're sucking actively, you want to hold the bottle pretty much horizontal so that only about half of the nipple is going to be filled with milk. Now, the number one question I get when I get to this point is, won't my baby swallow a ton of air? And that's gonna make them gassy and uncomfortable. And the answer is really no. So even if there is potentially a little bit of air that gets in there that maybe wouldn't have the other way, truly it's usually more air when the milk is coming out too fast like this and a baby's trying to handle that. So when we give the baby the bottle in this way, which allows them to pace their sucking, they also are able to coordinate better their sucking and their breathing and all of those things together so that they're not gonna be swallowing unnecessary amounts of air. So see, this milk's just coming out here. <laughs> so when your baby is sucking actively, like I said, so we'd have the bottle about horizontal, 
And then as soon as the baby takes a little bit of a break, which they will, then you're gonna drop the bottle down a little bit. You don't have to take the bottle all the way out of the mouth necessarily, but you're gonna drop the bottle down so that there is no milk left in the nipple so that they cannot get any milk during their break. So they're allowed to take their break. Then as soon as they start to suck again, you put the bottle up and so on and so on until they're really not sucking anymore. They're not asking for that bottle anymore. Maybe you put the bottle down during the break and then they close their eyes and close their mouth and they don't want it again. Or they actively are sticking their tongue out and, and really trying to get rid of that bottle. Many people, once a baby slows down, will be like trying to get the bottle in their mouth and shaking the bottle to get more milk in the baby. And yes, this will get your baby fed more and potentially fed faster, but it also may make them eat a little bit more than what they really needed or wanted during that particular feeding. And you know, if you feed a baby a little less, then maybe you see their cues a little bit wrong or the baby's not really full, but you think that they are because they are taking a longer break and you stop, then that baby's just gonna get hungry again sooner for their next feeding and that's okay. And you'll learn the cues more and better over time as well. So that's basically it. So it's wait till your baby starts to suck and root for that bottle to let the baby have the bottle in the mouth. Hold the bottle horizontally as the baby is eating and swallowing actively. And then as soon as they take a break, you drop the bottle down and wait for them to start sucking again to put the bottle up. All right. Oh, you also want to make sure that you use the slowest flow nipple that you can find. So sometimes that's going to be a size zero or a slow flow or a preemie nipple, because again, it's going to mimic the breast better in the sense that the milk is not going to just be coming out, but the baby actually needs to do something. Also, you know, oftentimes for the littler babies, we use these smaller bottles when they're taking less volume and they often have a narrower base, which is not necessarily the same as a breast. So there are bottles and nipples that are shaped a little bit more like like a real breast with a wider base and sometimes those are also nicer to use when your aim is to get your baby interested at the breast again. And then one thing that I always tell people, so if your baby is fussing while you're giving a bottle or at the breast, they need a break. Even if they should be hungry and they're having trouble, maybe they're just over hungry or over tired or over excited and they can't settle themselves down. So when that happens, just take the bottle away. Don't try to force it. Take the baby off the breast if they're breastfeeding. Put your baby on the shoulder, calm them down a little bit, let them settle before you're gonna try again. Because when you're kind of forcing a bottle on a baby, even if you think that's what they need, but they're really not seeming to take it easily, then it's probably a sign that they don't really want it at that moment. And then you may have that baby develop some negative associations with eating, which we certainly don't want to do. So hopefully this was helpful. I feel like I'm missing something in this little chat so I may make a part two if I think of what that was but pace bottle feeding it's something that you should know how to do and also grandparents daycare workers anybody who's going to be feeding your baby because babies that do get the bottle so easily sometimes they learn that they can and so then when they are put to the breast and need to do a little bit more work they refuse to because they know there's another way and eventually somebody's going to give them the bottle and again there's nothing wrong with bottles bottles are fine in situations where that's what you prefer or choose or that's the only way that the baby ends up being able to eat but many people prefer to give breast milk at the breast it saves a lot of steps there's a lot of snuggles involved as well there are other reasons why sucking at the breast can help with oral development a little bit better than what the bottle does so there are reasons to try to work at the breast if it's something that you're even considering. And this is the best way to give a bottle if you are still working at the breast. All right, thank you for listening and let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.